the history of our people is a great history. And it's our duty to tell that story. Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. And if by looking at that video you have not felt the excitement, you definitely will feel it because the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival is going to be launching with an opening night gala and the premiere of the Caribbean film uh, doubles on September 20th. And so joining us this morning to talk more about it, we have a representative, director, etc., etc. You know her um, as Miss Westwood Park, etc., etc. <laughs> but of course this morning she's coming in the form of a rep from the film festival and that is Miss Danielle DeFantala, and we also have online with us as well the lead actor from the premiere film Doubles, Sanjeev Boudou. Good morning, uh, Danielle, and good morning to Sanjeev, who's joining us online. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> morning, Sanjeev. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. There he is. Good morning, Sanjeev. Thank you so yeah. much for standing by. I'm going to come to Danielle first because I want an overview, first of all, Danielle, in terms of, you know, what can we expect this year? Oh, it's a really very um, eclectic exciting um, program that we have. We're very yeah. proud of it. Yeah. Um, it is, there are films from the entire Caribbean and the diaspora and beyond because our diaspora is expanding and, and big. Of like we have a, a Lebanese film and, and our other programmers, we have two foreign programmers, they program for some big festivals mm -hmm. in, in the States. Um, and they were like, why would you have a Lebanese film in Trinidad? I said, trust me, people will come. They will see it. Yes. They will want to see it. Um, so it's a really exciting program that we have um, for everybody. Yeah. We, um, the Jamaicans have come out representing their trans LGBTQI plus okay. um, um, kids. Yes. Like a lot of young people um, really strongly. There's um, a really lovely program. Um, Black Barbie is a documentary. Yes. So we have a lot of representation. Um, on the program this year, yeah, uh, you know the whole Barbie craze. There's a whole documentary on the Black Barbie, right? And the people that created it and what impact it had. Mm -hmm. We have some really exciting Trinidad films as well. Unfortunately, there weren't as many mm -hmm. um, as we'd like to have seen in the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival. But we understand that that is because of, you know, lack of funding. Lack of funding, yeah. Um, and it's a little difficult to get things out that you know are of a good quality because yeah. you have no funding. <laughs> One of the interesting things for this year's um, film festival, I think, is the theme, Look We. Yeah. You know, where yeah. did that come from? Well, I, Warren Laplatte, who is the person that designed our poster um, this year, basically is a combination because we were all like, what, what, are we, what are we saying, what are we saying? And um, I, I think I came up with Come See We, and then he basically came up with Look We, yeah. and that is just so us. Yes. Um, and, and it is that, you know, Look We. And we want to, we, us, the Trinidad public, want to see ourselves yeah. represented on the screen. And this is one of the greatest places to see it. Of course. See us and, and other reflections of us yeah. on the screen. Look We. I'm going to Sanjeev, who is joining us on phone. Sanjeev, I mean, look, we is the theme for this year's film festival, and people will definitely have their eye on you, especially for the opening night film. Without giving away too much, tell us about Doubles, um, and you can also talk about your preparation for this film. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity, and I'm very happy to be here. Um, and I, I'm going to start by saying that, um, you, you, which you spoke about it earlier, Doubles um, originated with a project called Doubles with Slight Pepper, which mm -hmm. was written and directed by Ian Harnerain. And um, I, I would like the opportunity to speak about Ian, because without him, we would not be here. Certainly, I would not be here today. Of course. Um, and Ian was born in, in Canada to Trinidadian parents. And in 2010, he came to Trinidad with um, a, a crew from New York. Um, at the time, I believe he was doing his um, thesis for his master's in direction, film direction at NYU. He made his way to Trinidad and got a cast together and shot Doubles with Slight Pepper, in which I played the supporting role of Danny. Um, that 
short film made its way around the globe. It appeared in, in several film festivals, including um, at TIFF, Toronto International Film Festival, at which it won the award for the best Canadian short film. Um, it also um, was shown at NYU and Cannes, and it went on to win the Genie Award for the best live action drama at the 32nd Genie Awards. Yeah. So we're now here in 2023 um, looking at the premiere of Doubles. <laughs> Doubles is now, um, it's now developed into a feature film. It was filmed in 2022 in Canada yes. um, and in Trinidad in April of 2022. Um, I spent a month there filming um, Doubles, and, and the character Danny has now evolved into the lead role in the feature. Mm. Um, and now I must say I have not seen Doubles. I, I haven't seen it as yet. So you've acted I in it, but you haven't, you haven't seen it as yet. So it's going to be new for you as it's wow. new for us on September 20th. Indeed so. I'm yes. going to be sharing uh, the experience awesome. with the audience there, um, seeing it for the first time. Yes. Very nice. Okay. And in terms of, I mean, you, you would have mentioned that, you know, um, Ian, he is, you know, he was born to Trinidadian parents, although he was born in Canada. But you as a Trinidadian yourself, you are, you are doing a film um, from somebody who has Trini roots. Do you get that sort of connection or, or, or did you think it was more important for you to really bring uh, forward that Trin Begonian spirit in this film? I would say it's a bit of both. Ian has a very firm grasp on the pulse of, of culture in Trinidad. Um, he's expressed to me the numerous trips he's taken back and forth um, right. growing up and as an adult. Um, he has a, a very large family um, who reside both in Trinidad and Canada, so that he had a, a very good understanding of our culture. Right. However, um, there are always the particularities and the nuances that come with living in Trinidad. Um, it brings with it a certain unique um, identity, and, mm -hmm. and, and for sure, um, that was brought forward by the fact that I am living in Trinidad. Yes, of course. Daniel, I'm coming back to you because I want to go quickly to other things that's happening in the film festival. Mm. So um, I think uh, Sanjeev gave us a good view about the film itself. Yeah. Let's talk about the festival. One of the things I always enjoy is the workshops as well. Yeah. Are we going to be continuing with the workshops and the masterclasses? Yes, we're going to have um, masterclasses in IP. Um, especially contracts and, and various things. We mm -hmm. have masterclasses in editing. We have masterclasses in um, directing, I think, um, and a couple others that will come up. Yeah. I mean, we, we had a, a sort of dropout at the last minute, so we kind of scrambling to get yes. something back. Yes, yes. But we have a whole bunch of other things happening, of course. We have the Under the Stars program, um, which is the two outdoor screenings, one at Fatima College of Panaz, the story, yeah. And at Napri Mabul of doubles again. So anybody who couldn't make it on Wednesday to the gala opening can come to Na Napri Mabul um, to see doubles outdoors again. Yes. That'll be the stars. following Monday. Okay. Um, in addition to all the other multitude of programs. I must say that we have a, a season pass this year, which I think is a great deal. Yes. It's $540. You buy a pass. You can see 18 films. You could buy 18 tickets for the same films, <laughs> or you could buy 18 different tickets for different films. Yes, yes. Um, and it's a great deal. It turns out to be $30 a, a, a ticket. So I would suggest you run down to Movie Town now. Of course. And get your tickets. And get it. <laughs> tickets are on sale already. Yes, for um, the opening night and for also for... everything. For yes. the opening night, it's on islandetickets.com. Um, for the uh, outdoor screenings as well, and at Movie Town for all the other screenings. Yeah. It's ready now. <laughs> now, Daniel, I know that it's the 18th edition, uh, although Film Co. would have been only formed for four years, but I think you have your hands on the pulse in terms of what the festival is about. If we look back over the 18th years or the 18th edition of that film festival, what has changed, what has improved, what product are we offering now? Well, it has waxed and waned. Um, over mm -hmm. the years, you know, we started small, um, we went big in 2015, you know, we had a film art, we had all kinds of things, it all depends on money, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, and again, with Film Co. now taking over, we're, we're now doing baby steps, yeah, yeah. and we're back to building, back to the film art, um, and we're hoping to be able to offer that again next year. Okay, good. Um, but we're working towards it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we, you know trying going we're going yeah, we're, growing. We're, we're trying to keep growing <laughs> um yeah um covid didn't do us any favors yeah. of course um so it's a kind of scramble back to where we were mm -hmm. um post covid 
one of the things you, you mentioned earlier on, and I see it here, that's the, is the I Advocate Shorts, where they're yes. coming together and we have films about the LGBTQIA plus community. Tell us about that. All right, so we have the LGBTQIA um, stories, and then we have the I Advocate. Ad Advocate is doing, um, we're doing it in collaboration with the European Film Festival in the okay. EU. Um, it's really focusing on women's stories. Mm. Um, some of the shorts that we have there are, are menopause. You know how we do talk about that. We just sweat it out. It's like the open um, secret that we don't yes. talk about. Yes. But now it's there yes. out in the open. Yes, it's a really yes, cute yes. little, um, not cute, but it's relevant. Yes. Um, it's another one called Living Bodies from Honduras, I believe it is, about um, domestic violence mm. and women, again. Yeah. And then we have several other um, shorts that reflect women's stories and w particular women's stories that are kind of taboo and people don't want to talk about. Yes, yes. And that's the whole joy of a film festival is where you see things that people don't want to talk about. Of course. I'm going back to Sanjeev to bring it home. Sanjeev, tell us why we should attend this 18th edition of the TNT Film Festival. Now, don't be biased. I know that you're in doubles, but tell us why we should attend the 18th edition. You know, before I get to that, I would like the opportunity very quickly to speak specifically about TTT. Ah, and I must tell us. Yes, yes, yes. TTT, in my very respectful view, has a lot to do with where we are today in right. film and theater and cinema as Trinidadians and Tobagoonians. You see, TTT work started in the six days with play of the month, and it mm. featured so many actors from Freddie Kisoon, Strolling Players, it involved Horace James, Farouk Mohammed. Um, we saw Gael coming out with uh, Turn of the Tide. Yes. And of course, Kalabash Ali, which right. still runs today oh, on TTT. Right. And then you saw um, the development of Harban Skumar when he took, um, he took things from TV to the silver screen in the 70s with the right and the wrong and the Caribbean Fox. TTT has such an influential and yes, fundamental in part in the development of cinema and film in Trinidad. Yes. And I feel extremely privileged to be here this morning. Um, to, to be to be doing this interview, and yeah. with respect specifically to the um, the movie and the launch, um, I am particularly excited to be a part of this project because, in my view, it once again puts Trinidad on the international stage. Um, it's taking these Trinidadian actors, myself along with um, Errol Sita Hall, the legendary Errol Sita Hall. Mm. Um, it's filmed in Canada. It is. Um, something that Canadians are going to relate to, as we yes. saw in the show. Um, I, I think it's such a lovely opportunity, and I really hope that people will come out and support um, the launch. Um, I look forward to a large turnout, and I really look forward to sharing the experience of seeing it for the first time. And I must say as well, for those RLC Tahal fans out there, that Ian Haranarain has said that, in his view, this is Errol Tahal's best performance yet. Mm. And for those of you who know Errol Sita Hall, that type of comment can't be made lightly. And I know a lot of people will be holding Ian accountable for that comment as well. Let me thank you, Sanjeev, for joining us this morning. And Daniel, before we go, just remind us where we can go to get tickets or any more information about the film festival. Please go on to our website at www.ttfilmfestival.com. Yeah. Uh, tickets are available at movietown, islandetickets.com for the um, gala premiere and the uh, Under the Stars tickets. Right. And I have to add to um, Sanjeev's Tell comment. Us. He did not say No Boundaries, <laughs> which was the quintessential Trinidad yes, film yes, yes. Um, series um, by Horace James, Where I Cut My Teeth. Oh, um, yes. Okay. And um, Turn With the Tide was not a TTT production. Ooh. Okay. Just and we that. just got corrected there by Miss Daniel Defentala. But let me thank Daniel so much for coming into Thanks the studio this us. morning. Thank you so much. All the best with the opening night film and the rest, and of, the the rest of the festival, festival as well. Just remember. Looking forward for updates coming out of the workshops and the masterclasses. Yes. And thank you guys so much for what you're doing and bringing back that joy into the film festival. Thank you. <laughs> and that, of course, was Miss Daniel Defentala, a rep from Filmco and also from the TNT Film Festival. And we had on the phone with us Mr. Sanjeev Boudou, lead actor of that opening night premiere film Doubles. You're on the Now Morning Show. We're going to take a break and be right back. Stay with us.